वेलकम टू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट न्यूज 24 टुडे वी हैव न्यू स्टोरीज फॉर यू फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान ब्रिटेन एंड जर्मनी फर्स्टली अफगानिस्तान वेयर रशियन एम्बेसी स्टाफ मेंबर सेबन किल इन अ सुइसाइड अटैक अफगानिस्तान इज फेसिंग इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी चैलेंजेस एन आर्म ग्रुप हैज क्लेम्ड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर दिस अटैक वाई वॉज रशियन एम्बेसी टारगेटेड सेकेंडली ब्रिटेन व्यूअर्स वेयर सेंस जोलाय पोलिटिकल क्राइसिस इज बींग सीन Uh, which seems to be coming to an end the new prime minister of the country has been finalized it seems and thirdly your germany is facing serious economic problems economists say it's on the verge of a recession yesterday there were demonstrations in cologne germany and today protests are underway in leipzig what is happening why is germany facing this uh, economic crisis is it linked to russia ukraine conflict firstly viewers afghanistan we know that uh, us nato all uh, foreign forces have left uh, afghanistan but country is still facing internal security challenges we know that uh, the al qaeda uh, taliban do not acknowledge the presence of al qaeda on uh, afghanistan soil but a top al qaeda leader was killed uh, in afghanistan a few weeks ago uh, ayman al zawairi the uh, is islamic state which is branch of uh, isis is also operating in afghanistan for years it has been operating in afghanistan taliban has been fighting to eradicate is from afghanistan and uh, on uh, monday monday morning russian embassy in afghanistan's capital kabul was targeted in a suicide blast dozens of afghans afghans were standing outside the embassy and a suicide bomber blew himself up at the entrance of the embassy in uh, afghanistan's capital kabul at least eight casualties are being confirmed and among the two among the eight killed are two members of russian diplomatic mission Uh, Russia has confirmed the death of two of its uh, uh, diplomatic staff in uh, Kabul, Afghanistan. Uh, some Afghans have also been killed in this suicide attack. IS, uh, Islamic State, has claimed the responsibility for this attack. Now, the Islamic State is an armed group, religious uh, armed group uh, with uh, hardliner religious ideology. It has been attacking mainly Shias in Afghanistan. Shias, uh, another uh, faction, another uh, Muslim sect. They have been attacking Shia mosques in Afghanistan for years. uh and they have been attacking other uh, muslim sects too and uh, some of their attacks have been minority against minorities too but now they are attacking diplomatic missions and this is first attack on diplomatic mission on an embassy in kabul since taliban uh, took power a few months ago so it means that uh though taliban are in power all foreign forces have uh, withdrawn but still the country is facing serious internal challenges question is did is a target russian embassy did target uh, afghans who were standing at the entrance of this uh, embassy and what is going to be the impact of this attack on a uh, taliban russia relations how is russia going to respond to this uh, attack on its embassy in afghanistan <laughs> Thank you.
Conservative party held uh, party election to elect the new party leader who is going to be the next prime minister of the country because in July, Boris Johnson resigned after several scandals. Uh, his cabinet members uh, revolted and he uh, had no option but to resign. Uh, now, Conservative Party has chosen the new leader who is going to be the Prime Minister of the country. Uh, the new leader is Liz Truss. Uh, she defeated uh, Rishi Sunak uh, in internal party election. She got 81,326 votes. Rishi Sonok got uh, 60,399 votes. So, uh, Liz Stoss is now the new Conservative Party leader and she'll be the new Prime Minister as well. In coming hours, she'll uh, take office as the new Prime Minister of Britain. The country is facing several challenges, viewers. Uh, economic challenges mostly, Russia-Ukraine conflict, other issues have led to economic problems for entire Europe and inflation is uh, at 10.1% in Britain, which is the highest in the last 40 years. Energy crisis as well, rising energy prices, rising cost of living, high cost of living. So there are serious economic challenges. Can this lady meet these challenges? That remains to be seen. At least political crisis has come to a close that a new PM is going to lead the country, Liz Truss. Uh, let's see how she uh, handles internal crisis and Russia-Ukraine conflict as well because uh, the conflict is linked to uh, Europe. What happens in Ukraine will have its impact on Europe too. Follows. Rishi Sunak, 60,399. Liz Truss, 81,326. Therefore, I give notice that Liz Truss is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. <laughs> we'll come up on stage. Uh, lastly, viewers, Germany, the country uh, which can be described as the worst affected in Europe because of Russia-Ukraine conflict. Germany was heavily relying on Russian gas and on Wednesday, Russia suspended gas supplies to Germany. Russia said there were technical issues and now Russia is saying that uh, since it is under sanctions, it is unable to transport it is unable uh, to transport gas to Germany. Yesterday, demonstrations were held in Cologne, Germany, against rising energy prices, against uh, high cost of living. And today, demonstrations are being held in Leipzig. People are angry. Gas prices will go up. Winter is uh, just uh, two months away and before that, people are protesting. There could be severe shortage of gas, uh, even for heating houses in Germany in coming months. And German government is considering gas rationing. Yes, there could be gas rationing in Germany if the conflict uh, between Russia and Ukraine goes on. If Russia did not resume supplies of gas to Germany, there could be gas rationing in Germany and there could be further increase in gas prices. Economists say that Germany is on the verge of a recession. How will Germany tackle this serious crisis that remains to be seen? People are angry. They are protesting against delivery of arms uh, to Ukraine, to all Europe is delivering weapons to Ukraine. But if uh, Europe faces 
economic crunch will it be able to continue its arms supplies to ukraine that remains to be seen so coming months are very crucial for ukraine especially will europe will us continue financial assistance military assistance for uh, ukraine especially if economic crisis worsens in europe let's see what happens two clips for you first one is from cologne germany where yesterday demonstrations were held against uh, energy prices and uh, high cost of living and second one is from leipzig where today protests are underway thank you for watching